Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, thank you for the inviting me to this meeting. Secretary General Guterres, on behalf of the UN family, repeatedly called for the war in Ukraine to stop. Already prior to this crisis, international food prices reached an all-time high two years after the pandemic. It was mostly due to the market conditions, but also high price of energy, fertilizers, and also for or other agricultural input and services. As the Russia, Federation, Ukraine are important players in the global food market, accounting for near 30% of global wheat export, 20% of maize export, and about 63% of the sunflower oil export. The war could seriously affect the food security worldwide. The Russia Federation is also a key export of fertilizers. In 2020, it ranks as a top export of the nitrogen fertilizer, second leading suppliers of the potassium, and the third largest export of the phosphorus fertilizer. In terms of trade networks, both countries are key suppliers of wheat to many countries in the world. Nearly 50 countries depend on the Russia Federation and Ukraine for at least 30% of their wheat import needs. Of these, 26 countries source over 50% of their wheat imports from these two countries. For fertilizer, 25 countries rely on the Russia Federation with an important dependency of 30% of more for the nitrogen, potassium, and the first forest fertilizers that will lead to a global disaster impact on all food production for 2023. The war can have um, multiple implications for the global market and the food security. Wheat is a stable food for over 35% of the world population, and the lack of uh, substitutes is likely to compound the pressure on wheat prices during the current and the next year. Thus, the crisis represents a challenge for food security for many countries, and especially for the low-income food import-dependent countries and the vulnerable population groups. In March, the FL Food Price Index reached a new all-time high. In just one month, with respect to February, cereal price rose by 17.1%, and vegetable oil price by 23.2%. 2%. Soaring price for stables, foodstuffs, and fuels are hitting the most vulnerable. High fertilizer prices today are putting at risk of the future harvest globally. This additional burden comes at a time where the cost of a COVID-19 pandemic are already squeezing the budget of the farmers and the governments. To assess the potential impact of the war, preliminary simulation will undertake a use of FAO scientific model to estimate the impact on prices and, and the nourishment. The moderate scenario assumes that the export volumes of grain and the oil seeds would be reduced mostly minus uh, 10 million tons of wheat and maize. To get a second market, the simulation will prepare with a more severe shock, removing 25 million tons of wheat and maize. And this scenario indicates an additional increase in the number of undernourished people, ranging from 7.6 to the 13.1 additional million people between 2022 and 2026, compared to the baseline. To address the impact of the war, in Ukraine on the global food security, FAO has released online three comprehensive information notes, two monthly FAO food prices index report, one OPED, and several emergency crisis response report with six proposals. Let me focus on the most relevant one for this meeting. FAO is proposing for a global food import financing Facility, FIFF, which aims to 
present a mechanism to respond to the rising food import and input costs. This proposal is complementary to the mechanism we have in the UN and the Brenton Woods institutions to tackle such a crisis. It can provide detailed and accurate information to the several credit facilities of IMF on the food import needs of the countries and their costs so that the problems on the balance of the permits are identified in advance. The mechanism is strictly based on the agent need and limited to the low and the lower middle income net food importing countries. The FIFF has been designed to include a smart conditionality to act as a stab stabilizer for the future funding. Eligible countries were committed to increase the investment in agri-food systems, thus increasing resilience for the future. The FIFF has been stress tested by FAO for its impact on the global market and would be convenient to administrate and scale up. Excellencies, the conflict intensity and the duration remains uncertain. The disruption on agricultural activities of these two major food producers and exporters are seriously threatening food security directly and indirectly. It is imperative to learn from these two overlapping shocks of the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. The lessons learned is that we need to increase agricultural production and productivity in the world while being sustainable. The investment agenda policy science and innovation will allow us to achieve this. It is a high time to work together for ending hunger and malnutrition in the world. I thank you.